Okay, so for this video, we're going to be talking about nanoparticles. Now, nanoparticles are between 100 nanometers and 1 nanometer. If you remember, nanometers is 10 to the minus 9 meters. Okay, so 10 to the minus 9 meters. And what's 100 times 10 to the minus 9? You get 10 to the minus 7. So it's between 100 nanometers and 1 nanometer. And it is between 10 to the minus 7 meters and 10 to the minus 9 meters. Now let's find some comparisons. So this is comparing. Okay, so if we're comparing, you've got a helium. So helium would be 0.062 nanometers. That's the diameter. For the methane molecule, so for methane, it will be about 0.41 nanometers and the nanoparticle goes here so the nanoparticle is between one nanometer and 100 nanometers the next one is the red blood cell so the red blood cell now what is that that is about 7000 nanometers and for the human hair is about 100,000 So for the human hair, it is about 100,000 nanometers. Okay, let's talk more about some terminologies. So what is a nanoparticulate? A nanoparticulate is a substance made of nanoparticles. So it is a substance made of nanoparticles. It's a material made of nanoparticles. However, if you've got grains, lumps and sheets, so if you have grains, lumps and sheets these are bulk so in bulk you've got lots and lots of nanoparticulates if you have lots of nanoparticulates it could be lumps if you have lots of nanoparticulates that could be sheets so when we say bulk we mean a large collection of nanoparticulates Now these nanoparticles can be used for cosmetics, paints, medicines. So the uses are cosmetics, paints, medicines. And in particular used in sunscreens. Now, some of the properties for sunscreens is different. So, for example, if you have a nanoparticulate, it will be transparent. So, nanoparticulate for sunscreen, it will be transparent. Okay, for sunscreens, if it was in bulk, it will be white. However, there is a disadvantage. So the advantage is that when you apply to the sunscreen, it is transparent. So it can be good, as in it looks nice, but then it can form lumps. So the disadvantage, 
So the disadvantage is that it can form knots. What are the other disadvantages of nanoparticles? So the disadvantages of nanoparticles is that here they are, can be small. So here they are small. So the nanoparticles are very small. They're so tiny that they can be breathed in. So because they're so small, they can be breathed in. So they can be breathed in. They can be absorbed by the skin. absorbed by skin okay and it can pass into cells so pass into cells so those are the disadvantages and it can a long time to break down so the nanoparticles can be long time to break down, okay, long time to break down, and once released into the environment, because toxic substances could stick to their surface, so toxic substances can stick toxic substances can stick to those nanoparticles. So some scientists are concerned it can be harmful to health. So it could be harmful to health. So it could be harmful to health. And the environment in which are difficult to predict. So it is very difficult to predict. So environment can be very difficult so these are the risks these are the risks of using nanoparticles okay we're going to be talking about the surface area to volume ratio right so let's draw Let's just say that this is two centimeters, or let's just say two meters, two meters, two meters. And the same. So now each of these is one meter. And this is one meter, one meter. All right, so the cube, what's the surface area of this massive cube? The surface area of this massive cube, there are six faces. So you have six times two times two, that makes it 24. So it's 24. What's the volume of this? Two times two times two is eight. So this is three to one. Now, if you were to separate these cubes individually, there will be eight of them, eight cubes. What is the surface area of each cube? So if you were to take each of them out, there are six faces and each length is one meter. So one meter cubed, there are six faces and there's eight of them. That is 48. So what's the surface area to volume ratio? So it's 48 times um, 2, not times, it's 2. Now what's the volume? Now the volume should be the same as this. It's just how much space is inside. Um, okay, so 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And so it's 1. And how many of them there are there? There's 8. So it's 48 to 8. So it's just like that one here. However, that's 48 and that's 24. So this is 6 to 1. So can you see that smaller objects have a larger 
surface to volume ratio. So nanoparticles have a larger surface area to volume ratio. So nanoparticles have a larger surface area to volume ratio.